Hello everyone, this is Faith from faithsbizacademy.com. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create printable wall art pieces that you can sell. In fact, I will also show you how you can use the same design to create a whole wide range of digital papers that are highly sellable too. Are you ready? Let's dive in. We're on Canvas homepage and we're going to start by clicking on create a design on the top right hand corner. And for the purpose of creating this wall art, I'm going to be using the US letter document size. So let's just click on it. Now to create a wall art piece, you actually don't need any complicated or you don't even need to pay for graphics. You know, all you need to do is simple elements. And I'm going to show you how to create a lovely piece of wall art just by using circles. So let's go to elements on the left hand side menu and under lines and shape, you can click on see all, but actually right away, you'll be able to see the simple circle shape. And we're just going to use that. Click on the circle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up this page with different size of circles. Now let's head over to this place called colorhunt.co. Now this is a free website where you can actually get all sorts of different color palettes, inspirations for different colors, and this is really fun to use. So let's just do a quick walkthrough. If you click on popular, these are actually the palettes that are well loved by voted by all the colorhunt.co users. You can see the popular colors for the month, for the year and all time popular colors like these. You can also search for certain themed colors like warm colors right here, vintage colors or pastel colors. So right here. So I like this particular color palette. So these are the colors I'm going to be using to create my wall art in this video. So all I need to do when you mouse over each of these colors, you see the color hex code appearing. So all I need to do is to click on this to copy it and then come back to my Canva and then click on this color palette where this circle is now selected. Click here, click on this color palette here to add a new color. Ctrl V to paste in the color hex code that I've just copied, hit enter. And now basically it becomes blue. So let's just do this again. Click on the duplicate icon right here on the top right hand corner, or you can just hit command D or Ctrl D on your keyboard. And going back to colorhunt.co, grabbing the second yellow, copy, click to copy the hex code, coming back, going to the color palette, pasting it right here and there we go changing the color to yellow so just duplicating the circles i'm just going to duplicate them and shift them around adjusting the different sizes right like this i know now you can't really see um, the separate circle so what we need to do is just to change the colors going back to color hunt click to copy the hex code come back select click on the color palette click on this one paste the hex code and there we go so let's just repeat that again. Copy this, coming back, select the circle, color palette here, paste it in, and there we go. So now I've got all four colors from this particular color palette. So now it's even easier now. Right now I just have to select the circle, go back to my color palette, and here these are the document colors. So these are the colors that have already been used for this particular project. And then here I'm just going to make some match to have the different colors appearing like this. And then I'm going to hit duplicate just to duplicate some more circles and changing the color as we go along. And resizing like this, changing the color, just duplicating it, changing the colors and it's pretty much haphazard and random as you can see but the whole idea is to fill up the entire page with colorful circles so let's just continue it and duplicate and just filling up the page shifting it like this there's no real right or wrong it's i mean it's art it's design so just feel free and play around the colors and you will be surprised with what you see. You can also try with the positioning, you can position it backwards or forwards just to layer the circles all over. So we are almost done with the entire page. Let's have some more duplicating it. 
Some circles are big, while some are small. Here. And because I forgot four colors, the idea is that I try not to have the same colored circles right next to each other. So I'm actually um, alternating the different colors right here. And one more. And also changing the layers, just moving them around and just filling up the space like this. And we're almost done. There we go. So this is one page and this is the colorful background that I want to use. Okay. So other than that, what I'd like to do is have different variations. So now I'm just going to click on this one duplicate page and here I'm going to click to select everything, click and drag to select everything, or you can hit command A or control A to highlight everything, all the elements of this page. Now on the top menu, you will see this transparency slider. You can use this slider to change the transparency and perhaps, or just type in a number. I'm going to key in 50. So I actually like this fainted version. I'm going to make a duplicate again and same thing, adjust the transparency just to see how um, they look. So I'm going to go to grid view. So you see the first one is the original version where I mixed and matched the different colors from a color palette that I have selected from colorhunt.co. And back to Canva, just using circles, piecing them up, varying, varying the sizes. And then here on page two, I've actually adjusted the transparency same thing on page three okay so you will see that just by adjusting the transparency you can also have a different look for your background right here now now that we have this what i'm going to do is like i mentioned we're creating a printable wall art so this is a very colorful piece of wall art and let's add some text so go to the left hand side menu click on text and they have already included for you on Canva different font pairings. So if you're out of inspiration, just scroll through and see what catches your eye. So let's select this one. Now there's two different fonts grouped together. So I'm going to the ellipse menu to ungroup them and deleting this one. And right here, I'm going to just type in, don't forget to have Okay, let's go to this little spacing tool just to adjust the line spacing. And I can also shrink it down and make a duplicate. Let's menu duplicate and typing in the word fun. And just extending it, rotating it. And now I'm going to try a different font. So going to this font chooser and just typing in script to see what kind of script fonts appear and just playing around and see what fonts I like better. How about this one, Scripter? This looks cute. Okay, so just extending it right here and there we go. So this could very well be my printable wall art. You can put in whatever codes that you want and there we have it. Don't forget to have fun. And now we can also click on this text box, go to the effects section, go to shadow, click on this color palette to change the colors of the shadow. Perhaps I want a blue, but I want a darker shade. So I'm just going to use the slider and just choose a darker shade like this. And back to the effects again, you can also adjust the effects of a shadow, varying the offset, the direction, and how solid or how opaque you want the shadow to be. Something like that. So there we have it. And if this is done, this is ready. All I need to do is I can just name my page here. Don't forget. And then I'm going back to the top, clicking on this download sign, selecting PDF print. And just instead of downloading all the pages, I'm just going to select the first one, page one. And that is the US letter piece of wall art that I'm going to download. And then I can upload on Etsy or anywhere, whatever Shopify or any other shop that I have online. And then I can sell it. Or I can even print it out right here. You can actually order your prints on Canva itself. And then after that, 
they can print it to you, they can send it to you, and then you can also sell the hard copy versions. But what you're noticing is that after it gets resized, you know, there's white spaces appearing. So if that happens, you want to make sure that everything is resized accordingly before you actually send your final product for printing. Okay. So right now we're having this and here is the final product in PDF version, this printable wall art that looks so fun, so colorful and so delightful, right? But we are not done yet. Now, I love to maximize the time and effort that I have spent on creating one product by creating an extension of products or more variety. So as I have shown you just now, all you need to do is just adjust the transparency and have different looks, right? But now I have this lovely blend of colors with just using circles. I can also have this as a digital paper design. So let me just duplicate this page and I'm deleting the words. So now I'm going to go to resize. If you're using Canva Pro version, this is a feature that I really love on the Canva Pro version. I can just resize this. Let's have it as um, in changing it to pixels. 3600 by 3600. So that will be a typical digital paper size and I'm going to copy and resize it. So it's like a one click resize function with just one click, everything gets resized to the new dimensions that you have set. Okay. So now, now you see that there are white spaces here, but not to worry. All you need to do is control a or command a to highlight everything and just stretch it out until the entire page is filled with no more white spaces seen. Just going to move things around something like this. Okay, and there we go. So that is the new resized template. Now, similarly, if you do not actually have Canva Pro account, not to worry. All you need to do is head back to the original US letter size document, go to file, go to create a new design, and we're still going to use the 3600 by 3600 pixels dimensions, create a new design. What you need to do is just to manually copy and paste things over. All right. So same thing, click control A to highlight everything. You can group it to make it easier to move things around, group it, control C or command C to copy, coming back to this page, pasted it down and just same thing, just stretching it out to fill up the page. And there we have it right here. And there we go. Now, now that we have this, whether you have just used the magical one click resize feature on Canva Pro or you're manually copying and pasting the design onto another new project, what we can do now, because these don't forget, these are actually individual circle elements, right? So now we can also vary the colors because I want to sell a set of digital papers. So I'm going to duplicate this duplicate page. And on the left hand side menu, I'm going to go to styles. So here you would see there are different color palettes for you to choose from. Let's go to just colors. We don't want to worry about the fonts right now. We don't have words on this page. We're just changing the colors. So here, just click on this one and wow, one click and the whole color scheme has changed. And I can even click on shuffle again to swap the positions of the colors, but it's still the same color palette. So what does this mean? All I need to do is duplicate this page, click on shuffle, and I can have variations of this design using the same color palette. Once again, duplicate this page, click on the same color palette to shuffle the colors around. And there we go. Going to grid view to show you now we've got four different digital paper designs with this background and number two, three, and four are colors coming from the same color palette, right? That's pretty cool. And then we're going to duplicate one more time, choose another color palette, click on it, duplicate it same color palette, choosing the shuffling one. And there you go. Very vintage looking right now. And just changing the colors and duplicating it. Let's try a different color scheme. How about this one? Wow. That's really bold. And same thing, changing the color scheme, duplicating it, same color palette, shuffling the colors around to have a different color scheme. And I think this is different too. Now duplicating it and just playing it around. This is addictive, you know, because it's like so 
easy, right? So of course, just like what we did just now, now you see just by a few clicks, I suddenly have a pack of 13 digital papers. And this is awesome, right? So all I need to do is if I want to create more variations, I can also just do the same thing, duplicate it, and then select this and go to the transparency slider and change the transparency to have a different look. So instead of having a digital paper that is so stark, I can have something that is much lighter. And this one, duplicating it, Control A to highlight all the elements on this page, going to the transparency slider, changing it, to 50% and now you see the whole look softens. Let's try this one. This is very vintage looking. Duplicate it. Control A to select all the elements. Change the transparency to 50% and there we go. So you literally can create like hundreds of digital papers just with circles, just by clicking the style change and there you go. All these ready for sale, all you need to do is go to click on download, select PNG or JPEG up to you and download and everything will be compiled into a zip folder, download it, all ready for you to sell, whether it's on Hungry JPEG, Etsy, or any other websites that you want. So it all started with using simple circles. We use the simple circles. We use color palette inspiration from colorhan.co. We came back, we filled up the page of circles. We added a simple coat that is fun. And we use the same design. We expanded it into, we changed the dimensions of the canvas to 3600 by 3600. We changed the color scheme. We tried out different color schemes and we have an entire set of digital papers that is ready for sale right now. So I hope that you have found this video to be fun and helpful. We would very appreciate it if you could like the video, follow our channel and subscribe so that you can stay tuned to the new tutorials added every week. Thank you so much for your attention. Now, don't forget if you have any questions about this video or anything about Canva, please feel free to leave in the comment section below and I will answer them personally and I will even create a camera tutorial to answer your question. Thank you so much for your attention and I will see you around. Bye.